What's up, guys? It's almost uh, you can say it's 1 a.m. here. Uh, we'll be flashing Evo X just right now. So you can see I am on the Hyper TN. Uh, this is the latest build, which comes with the September security patch as well. Uh, this ROM, I don't really have any issues with this ROM. Just I'll flash Evo X just now. You can totally try this, guys. You will have no issues with this. Battery backup in average, you can get uh, seven to eight hours without gaming. If you game. Then that will uh, depend on uh, what are you doing and all. And idle train is good as well. So, see ya on the next page. So, guys, uh, you will need these three files. This is the one is the evolution file, and this has comes with gaps, so you don't need to flash gaps again. And then there is the recovery and vendor boot. Process is same as any OSP ROM. We'll be using OSP recovery as well. So, now just uh, move our device to fast boot, and then we'll proceed. So my ROM already has this option of going directly to fastboot. Uh, you can do it by the, I mean, by ADB or else you can do it via the volume button and the power button. So see in fastboot. So you can see that we are already in fastboot. Now let's uh, go to command prompt. Show you guys how you can open command prompt. Uh, a lot of guys have asked me. Just single click here. Just uh, bring the cursor here. Just type CMD here and uh, CMD will open here. I have to type this command first guys, the fastboot devices so that you can know that your device is being detected or not. After that we will go to our normal procedure. So guys the first command is fastboot flash recovery. Then you need to drag this recovery file here into this CMD. Okay. Uh, showing step by step so that everyone can understand and do it step wise. Similarly second command is fastboot flash vendor boot and you just need to drag this file then hit enter it will send it just uh, wait for some time then you can reboot to recovery this is the command fastboot reboot recovery uh, wait for some seconds your device will reboot into recovery you can see device shows nothing now now poco logo has shown it will take some time okay okay it, it uh, does take some time so don't panic you will see the evox recovery here uh, let's proceed so guys uh, in this evox recovery click on apply update and uh, then apply from adv click on it then uh, move to cmd and type the command so the command is this adv side load just need to drag the evox file this is the evox file just need to drag this file from here to the cmd after that just press enter and it will start you can see uh, in the phone it will also show that okay it showed some error i guess so let's try again apply from adb we'll try again guys so we have just uh, dragged this file and then uh, okay some issue is going on it says install device open error something like that so guys, uh, just need to type adb side load and this command and before that you need to click on apply update here and then apply from adb and then it will wait for uh, just a second, uh, camera is not able to focus, yeah, your device with adb side load and file name, then uh, we have the command ready which is adb side load and then the file name, just hit enter, after that uh, it will start. Uh, I guess there is some issue with the package or something like that but it's saying k install device open error so guys uh, bad luck you can say I was trying to flash evox but due to that error I ended up flashing uh, hyperos elite which is the september security patch uh, review will be coming on this guys evox has failed unfortunately I don't know what issue I had so we will be Using this as now as a daily driver for a week or two max, then I'll try to flash any other room. Uh, I don't know. I had previously flashed Alpha Droid and Sierra Droid. I didn't had any issue, but this is the first time I had issue. Anyways, I have sent the message in the group. Uh, let me see what does the dev reply. It's already too late here. Like the time is now. Let me see the clock. It's around around 2:22 a.m. So yeah, obviously, uh, no one would be uh, you know what awake. Anyways, uh, that error I haven't have even seen it once. So 
this is how you will flash hyperocellulite uh, anyways you just need to let me go to the top yeah yeah just uh, okay so evo x video turned out into a light room light huh? uh, you know only i can give that type of videos okay so you just need to uh, download this a light room light peri, uh, peri dot then you just need to extract this file after that uh, just need to open this and then it will show you that you need to have 20 gb and uh, do you want to buy format data and all just type y there and wait for 5 to 10 minutes i was away for a uh, washroom and when i just came and you can see that just uh, don't touch your device uh, let it flash let it uh, it do its own job and once it's done it will send super and then you have been completed so yeah so yeah guys issues uh, you know can happen with anyone it happened with me as well so you need to know how you can uh, what uh, move back to anything if you face any issue like that uh, i'll try to uh, make public all the videos what i had uh, so i tried you know uh, what do they call it i had installed it uh, i mean the evoks file i downloaded it uh, two days ago so i may have thought that uh, so the zip is corrupt so i downloaded it, it uh, you know what uh, again and that too from my server i have this rdp here you can see i downloaded it from there and then moved it to drive and then because uh, you know on server uh, there is less chance of corruption to the zip file but the zip file was not corrupted so maybe some issue with it maybe uh, you know what this using a uh, lineage recovery for iosp that's why it may had happened though i can't say i am waiting for reply from ramshel who is the dev of that so yeah i'll skip it for now yeah anyways i'll just uh, so that's a nice thing everything is off by default xiaomi enter connectivity i don't have any other xiaomi device i was hoping that i would get the xiaomi pad 7 but i didn't get unfortunately so I mean, they didn't launch uh, the Xiaomi Pad 7 yet. And Pad 6 is uh, no, horrible, you know. 870 is horrible, so I won't be using 870. So, yeah, I'll skip this step and uh, I guess that's it. Huh? Huh? It got stuck or what? Let me check. But uh, not uh, the best experience, you know. I think that I may have to, uh, what do they call it? Uh, use uh, not the gestures and uh, just uh, via these controls and then i may change it to gestures i guess uh, that is the issue so we'll proceed with that then anyways uh, uh, i don't know why i'm having some of the issues today <laughs> maybe a bad day huh? let me remember the date oh it's october 2 today anyways happy gandhi jayanti guys uh, no, 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 I'm not uh, saying this today. This all this happened because of Gandhi Jayanti. Don't think likewise, you know. Okay, so let me use screen lock. Okay, if it may fix issues. So, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, we'll go with buttons. Finally, I guess. You see, there was no issue if I went with buttons. I knew it, man. I knew it. You can change it later. So, Anyways, if you have done with the gestures, then you have to do this, the trial setup. Uh, maybe that's why it didn't work. Anyway, so we have booted now. I just, you know, what force we booted, you just press and hold the power button and then uh, you have to go through the setup once again. So, yeah, this is the Elite Hyper OS and 15 GB has been taken by the Android OS. You can see system files 5 GB, system is 9.84. Uh, yare yare and i'll try to first you know what do you call it change it you know i don't like this layout okay home screen uh with app drawer app suggestions i don't want manage app categories i'll just disable it and then uh, scroll bar fine this i don't care fine app drawer is done and then uh, app vault i don't want so yeah home screen search bar okay these things we can do later double tap to screen lock and all and all yeah i guess so our oh, default launcher is the system launcher it's fine no yeah it's fine oh just uh, almost 
phone you know fell so to be a little careful so yeah you know it's fine i guess uh, you have to do it from settings gestures i guess uh, i don't uh, i'm not a fan of me why so yeah i guess gestures maybe two fingers or something like that ah i need to anyways guys i will uh, not make this video long it's here here system navigation guys i was searching it you know what everywhere so just click not now and then you will be getting this normal so why was this giving us the what app force close i don't know i didn't uh, even get it why was this not working so anyways it's all good now and we'll see what are the extra features we have with this uh wallpaper and all that okay that's fine lock screen this basic meme stuffs and glances off by the way light customizations uh, play integrity fixes rare lock refresh rate keep sim refresh rate for all apps color notification actions why is it that even there i don't even need it uh, charging animation is glow what is that charging animation i have to check that later i guess uh anyway these are of uh, no use for me uh, right now uh what i was wanting is that do they have this option yeah guys they do have this option i mean uh okay this is not the option i was waiting now nah, guys they don't have it uh, i was waiting for the you know what uh, screen resolution option from 1.5k to 1k Uh, they don't have it unfortunately and refresh rate uh, you can keep it you know like uh, 60 is there 90 is there 120 is there but uh, it's best to keep it default it uh, keeps it at uh, uh, what do you say mostly 18 uh, 120 i guess uh, yeah let's uh, put on the dark mode and uh, we have to turn off the nfc it is uh, enabled by default always so you will see that it's on you know yeah you see nfc and location are, are on so we have to turn it off anyways uh, i have used this rom like one month or two months before i had no issues with it so that's why i came back to it and uh, i was greeted with a small issue with the screen gestures or something whatever you call it uh, yeah this is the option guys if you really want to know where it is it is here system navigation so yeah and yeah guys one thing you need to do you need to change dpi it's horrible you know that how are these guys even using it so yeah just need to tap it five times you are now a developer go here additional settings uh where is it developer options is here i keep it 500 uh, for me so you can keep it uh, as you like but 360 is like may you know like we can see very well with 450 or even more so i'm sure it's 360 okay it's 400 anyway still 400 is quite less 500 is perfect for me so i keep uh, dpi 500 actually so yeah game turbo is there uh, i have to install all the games again to test it will take some time uh, anyways you can see it's 235 i messed up i don't know what happened there why the works kept some issue but yeah this video will be going live and how i flashed you know uh, what do they call it uh, <laughs> you mean uh, why did i flash hyper tn instead of uh, not hyper tn uh, hyper elite right sorry elite light whatever it is instead of uh, evo x you know i'm missing my words uh, so see you guys peace good night it's almost uh, 3 am uh, 236 am already see you guys